they've been out for a few months. Um, where do you start and how do you know when to move forward? Okay, how do you start? That's the easy part to answer. You start very, very gradually. And I think even before you can start working the horse, you have to pay attention to things like the horse's feet. Has the farrier been able to visit the farm or have the horse's feet been unattended for several months? And if the latter is the case, then it may take more than one trimming or shoeing cycle to get the feet back into good shape. And like all other parts of the horse's body, the hooves respond to the type and amount of exercise. So we have to pay attention to the feet. We have to pay attention to whether the saddle still fits because the horses are going to have lost muscle mass. The shape of their back has probably changed and they may well need either to wear a, a sheepskin pad for a while that kind of takes up the, the space and lets the muscles move underneath it or they may need shims, or they may need to have the saddle reflocked periodically until they get their normal shape back. So there are things like that that are just plain good horsemanship that we have to attend to. We're going to have to think about the horse's diet as they start to go back to work, changing from a mainly forage diet, hopefully, to a little bit more high energy food if they need it. And the next thing is that the actual work, which is what you really want to hear about probably, we, we should start very, very gradually. You know, think of it that the horse, all his body, his feet, his back, his skin, everything needs a, a little bit of time to sort of harden off and get used to carrying the saddle to actually working, doing physical exercise again. So I like to think of a period of two to four weeks, depending on how long the horse has been off, that he's going to have to do just really slow work at the walk. So I would start off with about 10 minutes of walking a day under saddle and doing that probably three or four days a week. Increase the amount of walking by 10 minutes per week. So by the time you're three weeks out, you're doing about half an hour of walking a day. And then assuming everything's going well, that's when I would introduce a bit of trotting, a couple of minutes into each workout, but not all in one go, maybe break it up into sort of 20 second segments. And then increasing the amount of trotting, introducing cantering, a couple of minutes a week increase in trot or canter. And the other thing that will help to um, strengthen the muscles get the horse fitter quicker is to do lots of transitions, right? There's some benefit from doing um, longer periods of trot or longer periods of cantering, but there's also a lot of benefit to be obtained by doing correct transitions between the gates. All right, fantastic. Sounds like we're going to all need to be patient when we get our horses back so, to work. I think that word patient is very important here. We have no idea at the moment how long the horses are going to be off. Mm -hmm. And the longer they're off, the more important it is to start them slowly. And you know, I understand that if you haven't ridden for three or four or six months, you want to jump back on and have a good ride and enjoy it. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the best thing for the horses. And we have to you know, kind of slow down and put the horse first. <laughs>